Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm your boy Nev from Nev's Tech Bits, and if you've ever tried to sell anything on eBay, you know the fact that it can be a real pain in the butt. But lately it's come to light that um, individuals running eBay have not been very good boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. It's come to light that they've been harassing people that say bad things about eBay. And you wouldn't think that'd be possible. You'd think these individuals would uh, have better things to do than torment some vloggers that don't think eBay's the best. Ladies and gentlemen, that's just not happening. Before we get into anything, I'd like you to know that eBay is definitely better than it used to be. And I do personally know because I have a seller account with about 500 positive views or positive reviews. And that's not easy to do. Things were different back in the day. eBay owned PayPal and man, they could shut you down pretty quick. And it was very bad. It was very bad back in the day. I don't think they're as bad as they were but I think they were a lot worse than I thought they were. Let's check out this article, folks. Former eBay exec sent spiders, pig fetus, to couple in cyber stalking plot, feds say. So of course, this is in the USA, and here's some of the stuff that were sent. A bloody pig mask and a book that's talking about surviving uh, a loss of a spouse. Ladies and gentlemen, that is some pretty dark stuff and you think that these individuals would be making enough money they didn't have to worry about that kind of thing but no apparently they got way too much time on their hands ladies and gentlemen you just don't mess with people's spouses you don't mess with the idea of taking a spouse from somebody if you're going against the corporation and putting an opinion that is bad about them ladies and gentlemen that's not a good thing and that's not someplace a giant corporation should be let's keep reading six former employees of the e-commerce site have been accused of waging a, a and dis disturbing revenge campaign against the married uh, publishers and editor of an online newsletter in a bizarre case revealed by the u.s feds that's the feds my goodness the whole ordeal started after a couple's newsletter criticized ebay angering some of its executives according to the authorities that prompted several employees to launch a cyber stalking or, uh, operation against the couple uh, who live in massachusetts really a newsletter a newsletter what are they going to do about all of these youtubers talking down about ebay if you're a seller ebay is definitely not the place for you anyways it was determined it was a determined systemic effort by senior employees of a major company to destroy the lives of a couple in uh, wherever, Massachusetts, because they published uh, content that the company executives didn't like. Well, cry me a frickin' river company executives. Like, seriously. Seriously. Company executives. You're better than this. Anyways, in addition to sending weird deliveries, a couple allegedly created fake social media, or the suspects allegedly created social, uh, fake social media accounts to threaten the couple, uh, tried to plant a GPS tracker on their car, lied to police about the involvement, and even offered to help with the investigation. They hoped this white knight strategy, uh, man, would create some goodwill towards the company. Uh, resulting in more favorable articles and please eBay's management, uh, said Joseph someone or other, special agent in charge of the FBI in Boston. eBay stated an internal investigation, or started an internal investigation late in August after authorities informed it of suspicious actions by its security personnel, the company said in the statement. The, employee, the employees were fired in September. Uh, James someone or other of San Francisco, who was eBay's senior director of safety and security, David someone or other, 48, in New York City, who was eBay's director of global resiliency. Dirty pool, mister. eBay, you could do better than this. Seriously, why didn't you just take all that time and just pay this group off? Why didn't you just take all of these things that you got and send them to them and just pay them off? It can be done. The other ex-eBay employees charged are Stephanie Pop, 
uh, former senior manager of global intelligence, Stephanie Stockwell, former manager of eBay Global uh, Intelligence Center, yada yada. Here's one of the arse hats right here. Folks, really, really, this is the best that you got, eBay. I hope no one forgets about this. I really hope no one forgets about this. Who even reads newsletters? When was the last time that you read a newsletter? Honest question. Think about it. When was the last time that you read a newsletter? Anyways, um, this guy left the company in September 2019, citing differences with the board of directors. Well, have fun, you tard, your turd burglar. Like seriously, that is some messed up stuff. Yeah, definitely. If you're dealing with eBay, you are having a hard time. That's just how it goes, and it really freaking sucks. Well, it's just it's just freaking life my guys seriously ebay you can do better than this a newsletter nobody reads newsletters that's just sad anyways ladies and gentlemen that's it for me and from nez tech but take care of each other don't be freaking sending pigs fetuses and masks and crazy books and spiders and whatnot to people that's not good my guys have a good one folks